Alrighty, welcome to your fusion class. We'll go ahead and get started in Shavasana. Um, just being mindful, of course, of any injuries or limitations that you might be facing in your body today. Um, if something that I'm doing doesn't quite work for you, then please modify it to make it work for you. I don't want you to get hurt. Just want you to get, uh, have fun and get strong. And we'll go ahead and get started on our backs for Shavasana. Just letting our eyes close. Sending your legs all the way long down the mat. Letting the feet fall to the outside edges. Relaxing in the ankles, relaxing in the thighs. If you have any tension or tightness in the lower back, option is to bend through the knees, placing the soles of feet flat on the earth with the knees pointing up to the sky. This just gives you a little bit more support. Or if you want to open up the hips, you can place the soles of feet together with the knees out wide for supine butterfly. Good. You can have the arms all the way long down the body with the palms facing up to receive energy. If you're feeling tired, you still got to wake up. You can have the palms facing down to feel more grounded if you've been feeling really, really anxious or stuck in your head. Just reconnecting with the earth here. Or option to have the arms all the way up above the head, opening up the heart, opening up the shoulders. And wherever you find yourself, just taking a moment to scan the body head to toe, noticing where your body rests heavy on the mat below you. Notice any spots that you might be holding on to tension or tightness. And just being mindful of that as we go throughout our class today. And bringing the focus to the breath, feeling the rise and fall with every inhale and exhale. Feeling the lungs and the belly expand as you draw energy into the body, getting ready to begin your practice this morning. And then feeling that release as you let go of any distracting thoughts. Just sinking into your mat. Good, using your breath to create a safe space for yourself. Remembering that this is the place that you can let go of your ego. You can let go of the judgments and the expectations that you have on yourself or on anybody else. And just doing the best that you can to remain present throughout the next hour. Good. Coming through a cleansing breath here, bringing a deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly, holding a pause at the top, gathering all the tension and anxiety that you're holding on to, and letting a loud, noisy exhale through an open mouth, just releasing all of that. Good. One more right there. Big inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs and the belly, holding that pause. And loud, noisy exhale. Let it go. And connecting to your Ujjayi Pranayama, Ocean Sounding Breath. Closing the mouth to bring a slow four second inhale through the nose, holding a pause at the top of the breath. Good, pushing the breath through the back of the throat and then release a slow four second exhale through the nose with a pause at the base. Staying connected with a pattern of breathing that works best for you today, just making sure that you're keeping the oxygen moving throughout the lungs and the muscles. And keeping in mind anytime that you need to take a break or lay down and just reconnect with that breath, that option is always available to you. Whenever you're ready, very gently wiggling in the fingers and toes, drawing awareness back into the body. In your own time, letting the eyes open. Good, if your legs aren't already, send them all the way along down the mat, pointing through the toes, engaging through the legs. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Big morning stretch, good lengthening through the spine. Let that low back arch off the mat below you. And as you exhale, relaxing in the muscles, releasing arms into cactus, 90-90 beside the head. One at a time, draw knees in the chest. Option is to wrap the arms around the shins as you take a little rock side to side, massaging that lower back into the mat below you. But here you can make the movement as big or as little as you'd like, just whatever feels right for the body. And just take one deep breath here. And meeting into stillness when you're ready. Extending both arms and legs up to the sky, circling ankles and wrists out a few times. Just getting those joints warmed up. Good, and switching directions. And coming into stillness, grabbing behind thighs, calves, or ankles, drawing both legs in for a double hamstring stretch. Option is to stay in stillness, just staying relaxed in the neck and the shoulders, or you can point and flex the toes at the very top, maybe alternating between both. With every point, getting a nice stretch in the shin, and the, with every flex, with a, getting a nice stretch in the calf. Good, really pressing through that heel.
Whenever you're ready, bringing a flex through both feet, bending into both knees, grabbing an inside or outside grip of the feet, finding your happy baby here. So you wanna make sure the ankles are stacked over top of the knees, and you always have the option to bring the hands on the calves or the thighs instead to make it a little bit less intense. Maybe you wanna stay in stillness, or maybe you wanna take a rock side to side. You're just pulling those feet down, pulling the knees toward the earth, really opening up through the hips here. Staying connected with that breath with the inhales, continuing to draw energy into the body creating a little bit more space for the stretch. And then with the exhale, sinking a little bit deeper into it, letting go of any distracting thoughts, anything that's bringing you out of this moment. Good, holding here for two more deep breaths. Our hips are a place that we hold on to a lot of tension, so this is really, really great to open up. And on your next exhale, making your way into stillness. Good, use the hands to close the feet together. Bring the knees to touch and release the arms into cactus, 90, 90 beside the head. Option is to keep the knees side by side or you can cross the right leg over the left. Inhale, draws knee to chest and exhale, releases legs to the left side of the mat. Option, gaze over the right shoulder. And option is to place that left hand outside right thigh, applying a little pressure, just relaxing here in your spinal twist, keeping that right shoulder blade pressing down. Next inhale, carefully uncross the knees, return the legs through center and rock it out side to side, neutralizing the spine. And coming into stillness when you're ready, again, option knees side by side or crossing that left leg over right. Inhale, draws knees to chest. And exhale, release his legs to the right side and left. Option, gaze over that left shoulder. And option is to place that right hand outside left thigh, applying a little pressure, just relaxing in your spinal twist. Good option is to keep those legs crossed or you can uncross them as you carefully roll all the way over onto your right side, coming into fetal position, letting your right cheek rest inside your right bicep as your right arm extends long above the head. Taking a quick moment here to set a positive intention for your class today. Reminding yourself that you're strong and capable of a lot more than you think you are. And then whenever you're ready, pressing yourself up to grab some water, we will get started. I'm just gonna see if my kitty wants in and change the playlist. Nope. It's about to rain. She's stuck out there. Alrighty. When we're ready, meeting into standing. In Tadasana, big toes touching a little space in between the heels, standing up nice and tall, engaging through those legs. Good, drawing that belly button in toward the spine, roll the shoulders up to meet the ears and release them down the back. Nice big inhale, reach the arms up, connect the palms, option to back bend. And exhale, hinging from the hips, releasing into your full. Good, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, palms down, stepping into plank. Coming into heel backs here, shoulders over wrists. Getting ready in five, six, seven, eight. Heels back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Keep going, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, that's three. Take a deep breath, tighten the core. And four. That's five, gaze toward the top of the mat. You don't wanna let the head hang. Six. Seven, not sinking in the shoulders, you're pressing them out away from you. And eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last 20, then we head down dog. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down dog. Nice. Right leg lifts. 5, 6, 7, 8. It's up. 2. Keep both legs straight. 4. Good. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Last 20. Then we hit runner's lunge. 3. Keep breathing. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Last 10. 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep it through. Right knee stacks over top of that right ankle. Back leg is straight and engaged. When you're, when I count you down, we drop that back knee. Light on those fingertips. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down. Two. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Grounding through that right heel. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good body up. Reach the arms forward. Pull that back knee in. Five, six, seven, eight. It's in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Core is tight. Three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. You're still breathing. Stay low on that right leg. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last twenty. You're almost there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Then we hop side to side. In three, two, one. Take a hop. Take a deep breath. And two. Light on those feet. Three options to just step. Last 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Bringing those feet as wide as the mat. Lift the big toes and sit it nice and low into those legs. We're pulsing those hips. Getting ready? 5, 6, 7, 8. We pulse. Big toes lifted. And two, shoulders back, away from the ears. Three, take a deep breath. Four, grounding through the heels. Five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and six. You're halfway there. Seven. And eight. Last 20, that's it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and fold. Nice, wiggle your hips out. When you're ready, making it into standing, feet come together, reach the arms up, pulling that right knee in, really flexing through the core, and then left knee. Getting ready? 5, 6, 7, 8, it's right, left, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, two, lift the thighs. And three, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, you got it. Two, three, four, five, last five, four, Three, two, one. Nice. Walk yourself back. We're stepping into squat, leading with that right foot. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right. Left. Two. Left. Three. You can slow it down if you want or speed it up. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two. Keep breathing. Two, three, four. Don't let the knees go over the toes. Six, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. You got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and back. Nice. We have plank pose. Alternating knee drops, starting with that right knee. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. And two, bums low. Three, shoulders over wrists. Four, take a deep breath. Five, draw the belly button toward the spine. 
Six, you got it. Seven, grounding through all four corners of the palms. Last 20, that's it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, down dog. Left leg lifts, getting ready. Five, six, seven, eight, it's up. Two, three, four, five, both legs straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sweep it through runner's lunge. Left knee over left ankle, back leg is straight and engaged, light on those fingertips. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's down. Two, three, four. Keep breathing. That's two. Five, good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. You're almost there, halfway. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice body up. Reach the arms forward. Pull that back knee in. Five, six, seven, eight. It's pull. Two, stay low. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. You're still breathing. Core is tight. And three, low on that left leg. Last 20, that's it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hop side to side. Take a deep breath. Option to bring the arms into it. And two, squeezing the shoulder blades behind you. Three. Last 20. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew, all right. Bring the feet and mat width apart. They're parallel, and again, those big toes are lifted. We're down, two, three, lift and squeeze. Getting ready, chest stays lifted, shoulders back. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's down, two, three, squeeze. Two, two, three, squeeze. Three, lift the big toes. And four, weights in the heels. Five, knees line up over those ankles. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, two, three. Ten, you got it. Two, three, last ten. You got it. Down, two, take a deep breath. Last nine, two, three. Eight, two, three, seven, two, three, six, two, three, five more. Last four. And three, two, three, two, two, three, and one, two, Three, and squeeze, nice. Wiggle those hips out, take a minute, shake out those legs when you're ready. Stepping back on your mat to give yourself a little bit of room in front of you. Your first option, same thing, is lifting those knees. Your second option is coming to a kick. Getting ready? Uh, 
fist by the jaw if you're kicking. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right. Left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Keep breathing. Three, press through the heel. Four, the core is tight. Last 10, lift the thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I don't want to do this last one. We're going to step into squat, leading with that left leg, and then we're done our warm up. Getting ready, left foot leads. Five, six, seven, eight. It's left, right. Two, three, grinding through the heels. Four, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. You're halfway there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and up. Oh, nice. Grab some water. Take a deep breath. And then when you're ready, grabbing onto your weights. And meeting with the feet together. Little bend in those knees. We're hinging the hips uh, back and leaning the upper body forward for a diluted chair pose. So the palms start facing each other. You bring the elbows wide, squeeze the shoulders, and then in. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go right, left, in for two. So we're gonna slow down a little bit. 10 on the right. Then we're gonna come through something to give the arms a break, and then 10 leading with that left arm. Getting ready, I'm gonna face you. Starting with that right arm, five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, in for two. Last nine, left, in for two. Eight, left, in for two. Seven, left, in for two. Six, left, in for two. Last five, gaze forward. Don't let the head hang. Good, four, left, in for two. Three, left, in for two. Last two, and in. Last one, left, in for two. Nice, standing up nice and tall. Feet come hip width apart. Obliques, right side first. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. The core is tight. Three, you're dropping the shoulders, but you're keeping the movement in the obliques. Good, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last twenty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice. Feet together, a little bend in those knees, leaning the upper body forward. Left side leads this time. Getting ready? Shoulders back. Five, six, seven, eight. It's left, right, in for two. Last nine. Right, in for two. Eight, right, in for two. Seven, right, in for two. Six, right, in for two. Last five, squeezing the upper back muscles. Last four, keep the core tight. Everything's working. 
and three. Right in for two, two. Right in for two, last one, it's left. Right in for two, nice. We're keeping the weights in the chest, keeping the bend in the legs, stepping the right toe back, little toe tap, left toe tap. Keeping the hips reaching back, you're gonna feel it in that lower back. Getting ready, five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Chest up, shoulders back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. Keep breathing. Lean forward. Five, good. Six, two, three. You're almost there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good, standing up nice and tall. Just press the hips forward to give that lower back a bit of a break. And then come into a forward fold and just let the head hang nice and heavy. Good, wiggling those hips out. When you're ready, making your way into standing. So we're not quite done with the arms yet. Um, the hands come beside the body. So the palms are facing toward you. We're coming into a shoulder lift here. So. We're lifting that right arm up so the wrist comes shoulder height, the palm faces to the side, left arm down for two. We like that pattern. So it's right, left, down for two. 10 on the right, 10 on the left with no break in between. Getting ready, standing up nice and tall. Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, down for two. Nine, left, down for two. Eight, left, down for two. Seven, Left, down for two, six, left, down for two, five more, keep breathing, and down, four, and down, three, and down for two, two, left, down for two, last one, left, down for two, left side, it's left, right, down for two, last nine, you got it. Right, down for two, eight, right, down for two, seven, right, down for two, last six, and down, last five, and down, last four, try not to use momentum, use the strength of your muscles. Last three, you're almost there, and down, two, and down, last one. It's right, left, down for two. I actually meant left, right, but you knew that. Um, whenever you're ready, you're gonna place one weight down. Actually, you can grab onto uh, the other weight if you want to, um, but prepare to drop it. So we're here bringing that left foot forward, right foot is back. So the right knee is on the ground underneath the hip, left knee is over top of the ankle, and the right toes are tucked. Weights are into the chest, one or both weights. Straightening those legs, squeeze the quads, stay high on the back toe, don't let the heel fall back. And then you bring it down, give the mat a little kiss. All the way up, all the way down. You can slow it down or speed it up and go at your own pace if you'd like. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, two, down, three. Again, option to go at your own pace. And five, stay high on that back toe. Six, you got it. Seven, Eight, 90, 90 legs. Last 10. Nine, that front knee should never go over the toes. Seven, you got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Here you have the option to place one weight down. You can place both weights down if you'd like. Right leg is out to the side, right arm is up to the sky. Bringing that right elbow and right knee together for a little side crunch. I'm not gonna use the weight. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. The core is tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. You're almost there. Keep breathing. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, it's ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Give it a shake out. Give your body a little bit of a rest. If you want to grab a little sip of water before we do the other side, I recommend it. And then when you're ready, coming into 90 90 legs. So that right knee is forward over that right ankle, left knee is below that left hip, and you have the option to use one or both weights. Again, those left toes are tucked, staying high on that back toe. Take a deep breath, get ready. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, down, two, three. Try to get the knee to touch the mat. Five, six, seven. You're breathing. Eight, you got it. Nine, 10. Last 10, weights in the right heel. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice option to drop one or both weights. Left low, uh, leg is out to the side, left toe is pointed, left arm is reaching. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three. Good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and three. You're almost there. Four, five, six. The core is tight. Eight, nine, 10, last 10, it's oil lead. Last 20, four, you're almost there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, last 10, it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. When you're ready, grabbing onto some water and then make your way onto your mat. Oh, I know. Alrighty. So our legs are going all the way long down the mat. Grabbing onto one weight as an option. You have the option to not use the weight, just really focusing on flexing that right bicep. So the weight is coming into the right hand, right elbow is tight to the rib cage. The feet are flexed. You wanna make sure that left elbow is wide so the hand is at the hip or it's behind the head. Right arm crosses over to left toes, and then we pull that elbow in nice and tight to the rib cage. Cool, so getting a little twist in the core. Again, option weight, option no weight. That left hand is at the hip or behind the head. Elbows wide. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's pull, two, pull, three, four, five, six, seven. Really flex that bicep. Eight, nine, ten, two. Two, three, four, five, last ten, pull, nine, pull, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pull. Nice. Wake your way onto your back just to give the quads a little bit of a break. Whoa, I have a thing there. Legs go up to the sky, elbows behind or wide with hands behind the head, alternating toe taps here. Still working that core. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, four. Five legs as straight as you can make them. Last 20. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. When you're ready, rolling your way back up into seated with your legs as wide as your mat. 
and your feet flexed. Weight is in the left hand if you're using it with that right elbow wide, hand behind the head or at the hip. Take a deep breath, your core is tight, get ready. Five, six, seven, eight, it's twist, pull. Two, left hand to right toes. Three, you got it. Four, five, broaden the chest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pull. Nice. When you're ready, place that weight to the side. We're going to make our way onto our left side for V sets. So you're going to move right here. Just stay there. When you're ready, your legs are long. On your left hip, your uh, right, or sorry, your left arm, you want to make sure that it's down toward the mat. Sorry, my brain stopped working there. It was buffering. The forearm is down with the palm facing down. You don't want the um, left arm to come anywhere near shoulder height because when you come up, you um, give the, the shoulder risk of uh, dislocation. You don't want to do that. So when you're ready, option level ones, you can just bend both knees in. Level twos, you can lift just that top leg. Level threes, option full V-sit. Getting ready, take a deep breath. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight, it's up, down, two, down, three, left arm is close to the body. And five, six, you're breathing. Seven, you got it. Eight, nine, 10, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Nice, coming onto your back with your legs at 90-90. So you can, have, uh, you can have the shoulders resting down or you can have the shoulders up to work the core a little bit more. It's kind of nice to give the neck a bit of a break though. All we're doing here is alternating toe taps, hinging from the hips, not from the knees. So you want the full thigh to move. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Option arms in cactus, 90, 90 beside the head. And three. Four, you're almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. When you're ready on your right side, so that right arm is down toward the mat. Uh, forearm is close to the body. Left arm is up to the sky. Option to bend both knees. Lift just that top leg or both legs. Take a deep breath. 5, 6, 7, 8. It's up, down, 2, 3, 4, Five, breathe through it. Six, you got it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Nice. When you're ready, on your belly. Bringing your forearms down, preparing yourself for dolphin plank. So you have the option to keep the knees down with the toes tucked, or you can lift the legs up to straight. Your right leg is lifting off the mat, flexing to the heel, and it's a lift up here, squeezing into that glute. Again, option is to have that left knee down, a little lift and squeeze in that right glute. We're only there for 20. Getting ready. Uh, dolphin plank, forearms grounding down. Make sure those uh, bums aren't sticking up in the air. Right leg is long, flexing through that right heel. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. When you're ready, coming onto your right hip. Your head is resting in your right hand. Left toes tuck on the mat behind the right leg. Right leg is long with the foot flex. Inner thigh pulse is here. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Really flexing that right foot. Three, make sure the hips are stacked, one on top of the other, so you're not leaning back too far. Four. Five, really pressing through the heel. Six, you got it, don't lean back. Seven. Eight, make sure the elbow and the shoulder are in one line. Nine, you're almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. When you're ready, dolphin plank. Belly down, forearms down. That right leg stays on the mat. Left leg goes long. Again, option to have that right knee lifted or lowered. Take a deep breath. 5, 6, 7, 8. Left leg. 2, little lift. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. When you're ready, on your left side, head in the left hand. Right toes tuck in behind that left knee. You want to really open up that right hip. Left leg is long. Getting ready. 5, 6, 7, 8. We pulse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2. Make sure that you're not like a banana. You want to keep the body in one straight line. 3, pressing through that left heel. And 4. 5. 6. Keep breathing. Seven, you're almost there. Eight. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, on your back. Elbows wide. Opposite knee to opposite elbow for ninjas here. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Elbows wide, shoulders lifted. Three, getting a nice twist in the core. Four, you got it. Keep breathing. Five. Six. Seven, you're almost there. Eight. Nine. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Oh, when you're ready, grab onto your weights, but we're gonna make our way right back down to our back. Grab some water while you're up. If you so please. And when you're ready, come all the way back. Whew. So the feet are on the mat, really grounding through those heels. Level ones, you have the option to just keep both feet down. Weights can be at the hips or arms can be at 90. Squeezing the glutes and releasing the hips back down. Level two is option to keep that right foot down. Cross that left foot up and over that right thigh with that left knee pressing away. You're getting a nice stretch in that left hip here as well. In a figure four bridge pose. Again, just working into that right glute. Level three is option, left leg up to the sky. Flexing through that heel. Getting ready? 25 on each side. We'll do a little something in between taking your option, whatever one works for you. Getting ready, gaze up to the sky, do not look side to side. Five, six, seven, eight, hips up, hips down. Two, down. Three, squeeze the glutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Both feet down. Weights to the side if you had them. Shoulders lift off the mat with the arms long. Alternating ankle taps here, working into the obliques. Option to give the neck a break by bringing the hands behind the head. You just keep them moving in the obliques. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's right, left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Shoulders up. Three, take a deep breath. Four, five, six, keep going, stick with it, seven, you're almost there, eight, take a deep breath, last 20, mind over matter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing it back. When you're ready, again, option to have both feet down. Option to have that left foot cross over that right thigh. Or no, right foot cross over that left thigh. Rights and lefts are hard today. Or option to have that right leg right up to the sky. Getting ready, taking your option for the weight. Remind yourself that you're strong. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. Hips up, hips down. Two, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Give the legs a little shake out. When you're ready, place one weight to the side. Bring the feet hip width apart and bring the other weight all the way up to the sky, coming into a full setup. So it's up for two counts, reach the arms up to the sky, back for two counts, reach the arms back. Getting ready? Feet on the mat about hip width apart. Take a deep breath. Five, six, seven, eight. It's up for two, back for two, two, and back. Three, and back. Four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, last ten, up, back, for two, nine, up, back for two, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we're gonna stay up on that last one, get ready. Bring it up for two, stay here, weights into the chest, option one or both. Rush and twist, but it's slow. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight, it's right. Left, three, four, five, back is flat. Seven, chest up. And two, two, three, shoulders back. Five, gaze up. Seven, eight, nine, 10, three, core is tight. Three, four, elbows wide. Last 20, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You got it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice. When you're ready, making your way into tabletop. Grab a little sip of water on the way if you like. Even if you don't like. I recommend it. So that left hand is coming center mat. The knees are about hip width apart and those toes are tucked. That right elbow is tucked in nice and tight to the rib, uh, the rib cage. We're extending that right arm all the way back, straightening through the whole arm to get that flex in the tricep. And then you bring it back in. So it's back and then in just for 20. If you're feeling strong, you can uh, lift the knees off the mat and you can always alternate. So maybe you wanna do five with the knees down, five with the knees up. You can kind of um, do that at your, at your own liking. When you're ready, that left hand is starting center mat. Right elbow is close to the rib cage. Take a deep breath, you got it. Five, six, seven, eight. It's back, in, two, in, three. Get that full extension. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep the core tight. Six, everything's still working. Five, four, three, two, one, and in. Nice. Keep the toes tucked, bring the weights down, reach the arms forward, lean it back. We're pulsing the arms out. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Just pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two. Lean back. Three, a little further. Last 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When you're ready, other side. Right hand comes center mat. Left elbow is nice and close to that rib cage. Again, taking the option with those legs. Take a deep breath. 5, 6, 7, 8. It's back. In. 2, full extension. Three, working into that tricep. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Nice. When you're ready, if you have a weight, option is to bring it behind that right knee. If you don't have a weight, don't worry about it. You're just going to really focus on flexing through the glute. So both forearms comes to the, both forearms come to the mat. Left toes stay tucked. Right knee lifts off the mat, keeping that right foot flexed. Keep a bend into that right knee the whole time. Lift it up, squeeze into the glute, and then you tuck that right knee into the chest. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, in, two, squeeze the glute. Three, press through the heel. Four, with or without the weight. Five, you're breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and in. Nice. When you're ready, remove that weight. Send the right leg long. Tuck the toe and just press that heel back. Get a nice stretch throughout that calf. Nice. And then shifting the weight forward, pointing through the toe, getting a nice stretch throughout that shin. And whenever you're ready, making your way into the other side. So if you have that weight, it's coming in behind that left knee. Both forearms are on the mat. Right knee's down with the toes tucked. Left foot is flexed with that knee lifted. Getting ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's up, squeeze the glutes. Two, in, good. Three, in, four, in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Nice, remove that weight, send that left leg long, tuck the toe and press that heel back, getting a nice stretch through the back of the leg. And then shifting the weight forward, pointing through that toe, getting a nice stretch through the shin. And when you're ready, place the weight to the side, bring the belly down to the mat, tops the feet on the mat behind you. Elbows are wide with the hands behind the head or level one option, have the hands resting lightly on the mat for support. Getting ready for backups. Five, six, seven, eight, back it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two. Three, and four, you got it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Nice, press it back. Oh, take a child's. Untuck the toes, reach the arms forward. And whenever you're ready, making your way up, grabbing some water. Sorry, this thing got all tangled. It got all tangled. And we'll make our way right into seated for some stretches because it's 9.28 and we're almost done. Crazy how time just flies when you're having fun. When we're ready, bringing the feet together with the knees out wide, coming into butterfly, getting a nice stretch throughout the hips. Bring your hands to your ankles, and as you inhale, just sit up nice and tall. Bring the shoulders down the back, and as you exhale, try to sink the knees a little bit closer to the earth. Good, just holding here, sitting up nice and tall. With every inhale, again, creating a little bit more space in those hips. And then with the exhales, just pressing the knees down a little bit more. And take one more deep breath right here. Good. When you're ready, that left foot stays in, but the right leg goes long. Left foot comes inside that right thigh. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Square the shoulders toward that right leg. And then on the exhale, hold over that right thigh, reaching forward, grabbing onto calves, ankles, or toes. Let the eyes close and let the head hang heavy. Option to always bring a micro bend into that right knee if you need. Good, staying low in the fold. The right hand comes either inside the calf or grabbing inside the foot if you can reach. That left hand reaches back and up and over, getting a nice stretch in that left side body. And then making your way back up, sitting up nice and tall on the inhale. Good, bringing that right foot back inside the left foot. Left hand grabs onto the right ankle, and that right hand reaches back, getting a nice twist in the spine, sitting up nice and tall. And returning the body forward. Good, just using the thumbs here to massage the bottoms of those feet, getting nice and deep into the arches, into the toes, the ankles, taking a quick moment just to really, really be grateful for your health and for the ability to come to your mat and work hard. I'm just finishing up wherever you feel like it whenever you're ready that right foot stays in and that left leg goes out to the side right foot inside that left thigh inhale reach both arms up to the sky big stretch square the shoulders and then exhale we fold over that left thigh letting the head hang nice and heavy again just letting the arms and head fall wherever they do not trying to force anything and always option is to bring a bend into that left knee And when you're ready, staying low in the fold, that left hand either comes inside the leg or grabbing inside the foot if it'll reach. Right hand reaches back and up and over. A nice stretch in that right side body. 
one sitting up nice and tall on your next inhale and then releasing that right hand down. Good, bringing that left foot in. Again, it comes inside that right foot. Grabbing onto the ankles. Inhale to lengthen the spine, sit up nice and tall. This time on the exhale, we're just pulling the chest forward, letting the head hang nice and heavy. Taking a quick moment here, to set a positive intention for the rest of your day to day. Really genuinely thanking yourself for taking the time out of your day to come to your mat to share your energy with me. I thank you. And I hope that you have a super great Wednesday. Very slowly rolling up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Lifting the gaze last, use the hands to guide the legs together. Send the legs along and we just shake it out. Give yourself a high five. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. I super appreciate you and I will um, see you guys very, very soon.